Uh, yeah, we're in an, uh, in an empty sport hall here, and uh, we're doing aerodynamic tests on cyclists. Why do we do that? Is to uh, reduce the aerodynamic drag on a cyclist to make him faster. Normally, everyone is testing um, or measuring aerodynamic drag in a wind tunnel, where we have a um, cyclist standing still, and we have the wind flowing around. And here we're doing exactly the opposite. We're doing, in fact, what is happening in reality, where the air is standing still and the rider is, is cycling. Now, how do we do this? Because we don't see air, so how do we measure the velocity? We introduce small soap bubbles filled with helium into the uh, air around us, and we take cameras and lasers to measure the displacement of these particles and then the uh, velocity in the wake of the cyclist. Then we get aerodynamic drag, and the main goal today is to uh, evaluate the accuracy of our measurement technique. So we have a rider cycling multiple times through the tunnel that you see in the back here. And every time we measure aerodynamic drag, and now we want to see how the drag is fluctuating from run to run. And if it's nice and consistent, then we know that the accuracy of our measurement is high. Uh, one of the advantages is that it adds new possibility of doing measurements. For example, in a wind tunnel it's very difficult to measure a cyclist that's going around the corner. It's technically almost impossible to do that. And here you can, of course, yeah, you can cycle however you want. You can put this tunnel wherever you want. So you can basically measure drag in every situation.